Hi, welcome to deletion operation in priority queue, which is implemented by using the array data structure. The element with high priority is deleted first before the element which is having the low priority. That means we are going to delete the highest priority element which is available in front of the priority queue, PQ, right? If two elements are having equal priority, for example, we are having the 7. So here, uh, this is having the priority 5. This is also having priority 5. So if two numbers are having the equal priority, then they are considered according to the order in the queue. So first, we will delete the first value which is appearing with the priority 5 then next time we will delete the uh, pre, uh, 7 with priority same 5 once the element is removed from the priority queue the count will be decreased by 1 the operation peak is used to access the highest priority element in the priority queue without removing from the queue the, the data will be deleted uh, by calling the method delete. For example, this array is having the uh, four element. This uh, priority queue implemented using array is having the four elements in the priority queue. So the first element is accessed by using the peak operation. So here we will get the six. Uh, 16 is the data which is available at index number 0. So this is the first index which is received from the peak operation that index is as assigning into the 0. So the 0 is assigning into the uh, variable index. Then once we are accessing the G, uh, first value which is available in the index uh, 0, then it should be removed from the uh, priority queue. So for that, what we have to do, we have to move uh, the next element into the 0th position, the element which is available from the uh, second index into the first index. So like that, we have to shift all the elements one position, uh, one position back. So for that, we can use uh, for loop. So index is here 0, then i less than size of the array, size of the array is here. Of 4 then we are uh, shifting the elements by using the i plus 1 so first element 0 plus 1 element is assigned into the uh, the index number 0 i value is 0 so now what will be happen the 14 will be uh, written, written into the 0th index then as again i is incremented so it now index value will be 1 again in the uh, inside that uh, uh, for loop we are checking 1 less than uh, 4 yes it is uh, uh, true now this 1 plus 1 so second index data will be assigned into the first index so 7 will be written in the first index then again i, I is incremented by 1 so now the i value will be 2 so then 2 less than 4 this is true again if it is true now we are going to assign the third index value so i is 2 so 2 plus 1 3 so third index value will be written into the second index i value so now the third index value is here 7 so 7 is going to write in the second index again i is incremented by 1 so now uh, 3 less than uh, 4 now again you look at that so 3 is here uh, less than 4 so it is true one is once it is true again i plus 1 the fourth index value in the fourth index we are having empty so the empty is uh, not available the empty is um, uh, empty in the sense there is no data that will be returned into the third index so the three will be free now so now all the data is uh, moved one position back uh, back to the uh, back, uh, back side so now uh, the count is decremented uh, uh, to denote the number of elements in the given priority queue. So now the number of elements are 3. So here finally we will get the 14, 7, 7 is the priority queue. Suppose if we want to um, 
stop with with the uh, before with the uh, second uh, index then we can give here size minus 1 so we can stop uh, before instead of copying the free space into the third index then we can stop with this by denoting the size minus 1 so this is the procedure to delete the element from the priority queue thanks for watching